Hey friends, what's up? Greetings to all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's indeed my joy and privilege to be present before you even in this wonderful day. This day also, as I was uh, meditating on the Word of God, which says in the book of Acts, chapter number 1 and verse number 8, that you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria and to the ends of the world. This is such a wonderful verse. I believe that you have read this verse before. Often we read this verse but we don't meditate really what it means. It says that and you will receive the power when Holy Spirit comes upon you. Power is something which is really needed to build the kingdom of God on earth. As the word of God says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, power of darkness, and against the ruler of this universe. The evil spirits are very powerful, do you know that? Evil spirits attack us in different ways. Look what is happening around the world. The people are falling into various kind of sins. Even the people who believe Jesus Christ are doing many sinful things. You know why? Because they are controlled some or the other way through the evil powers, through the bondages of the Satan. And God asks us to pray continually. Jesus asks us to pray continually because of this one reason. Because as the word of God says that be sober and vigilant because you are adversary. The devil is walking like a lion seeking whom to devour. If you don't pray, if you are not obedient to God, if you don't uh, meditate on the word of God, what happens, you know? The wrong power begins to control you. As there is continuously a fight going on in this universe, in the spirit world, you know, we are either controlled by the spirit of God or we are controlled by the evil spirit. God wants us to be in his presence 24-7. When we keep on meditating the word of God, what happens you know, as it is written in the book of Psalms chapter number 1, that he meditates on the Lord day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that gives his fruit forth in its season. You need the grace of God. You need the anointing of God. When you keep on thinking about the biblical verses, keep on meditating the words of God, what happens? You know, It cleanses all the impurity that is in your mind. As we live in the world of darkness, as God has kept us as a light in this world, even though we are obedient to God, but still, as you and me know that we are tempted by many things around us, especially the young people, when they go out, they are tempted to do certain sins and all. Even though they try to avoid everything, but devil is really cunning. As the word of God says, the devil uh, is walking like a lion seeking whom to devour. So you must be sober and you must be vigilant. See the word vigilant. God never said you must be careful, be sober and be vigilant. This is what God expects from us this day. So this day also, being a Christian does not only mean to believe Jesus but to live like Jesus not only to believe but to live like Jesus and this day also as the word of God says in book of Matthew 5 16 let a light so shine among men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven this day shall we pray that God helps us God enables us to be faithful to him that his light falls upon us and that we shine for him just for the glory of his name let us pray that God transform us like you Jesus let us be your reflection O Lord Father let us be a shadow let the people of the world see you through us 
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace and we ask you this day more and more of your love, grace and mercy. Lord, by our strength it is really hard for us to be faithful to you, to be obedient, to be sincere to you, as devil is always troubling us in some or the other way, Lord Father. So this day we come before your presence and we ask, Lord Father, that send your Holy Spirit upon us, send your anointing upon us, strengthen us that we live a righteous life just for your glory, Lord Father. As your word says that you have kept us as an ambassador for Christ, for Jesus Christ, as you have set us as a representative of heaven, Lord Father, in this earth. So we ask, Lord Father, change us completely, transform our heart completely. Oh, renew a steadfast spirit within us. We pray, Lord Father, make us just like you. Make us just like you, I pray. I pray for my brother and sisters watching this video. If any one of you is struggling with certain kind of sin, I just want to pray for you that in name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, touch that person and help that person to come out of that sin right now. In name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. For God has not given us the spirit of devil. God has given us his Holy Spirit. And through Holy Spirit, you can come out of your sin as the word of God says in Zechariah 4, 6, that not by the might, nor by the power, but by His Spirit. This day also, my beloved sons and daughters of God, through the Spirit of God, it is possible for you to be completely set free from the bondages of devil. Thank you, Lord Father. If you are praying for anyone in your family, binded by some devilish bonds and all this day just believe God is going to touch them and God is going to deliver them completely thank you Lord Father I speak out the love grace and mercy of God over each and everyone watching uh, this live broadcast thank you Lord Father be with them guide them lead them let your name alone be glorified in Jesus name I pray Amen Dear children of God, I hope this um, 7 to 8 minute video was really useful for you. Do share this video. Maybe someone really needs this message. This message may be simple, but it can bring a change in life of someone. Thank you. In Jesus name be blessed. This is your brother in Christ, Prophet Samuel. God bless you.